Hello, everybody. Hey, we're checking in. We wanted to do a market update. We just got off a call with our corporate economist and thought we would pass along some current market information. That's right. So we're freshly informed. Yes. Well, we don't want you to get caught up in the FUD. Well, what's that? That is FUD. For F is for fear. U is for... Uncertainty. And... D is for doubt. Doubt. So don't get caught up in the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that what all the headlines are is that they are all FUD. FUD, <laughs> yes. They want you to click. Please they're, click they're here. They're trying to get clicks. So I thought we'd address a couple of the questions that we've been getting lately, too. Yes, we would. We will. So what's we the first question? Be, uh, how long is it going to take to sell my house? Yes. So some of the statistics, the market has, uh, we have some inventory that is growing slightly and the, in, the days on market for really current. So this is from March to June has gone up from 20 days to 56 days in Ventura. So it's going to take a little more coming more, a little bit more into a normal market and a little more inventory is coming on. So giving buyers a few more choices and not quite as much of a frothy frenzy that it has been. That's right. And as more inventory comes on the market, doesn't mean that we're in an unhealthy market. It means that we're getting healthier each and every day. And the next question we get is there going to be a crash or we're in a bubble. And the answer to that is also no, that, you know, when we had the, the market in 2008, 2009, in that time frame, I mean, that was just crazy crash, but we don't see that coming now, and the economists don't see that either, um, because the, the macro market of the inventory tells the, the tale. At that time, there were four million houses for sale nationally, and now there's only a million. So that kind of gives you a feel for what's happening you know, nationally and what the demand is. That's right, and if you look at 2009, that was a housing crisis. So that did cause real estate values to go down because real estate was driving it all along. So we're about a million houses now, four million at the very height. So let's say in 2009, 2010, mm -hmm. two million is about the healthiest market you can be in. Yeah, so the demand um, uh, changed since June. Uh, the demand has decreased 18% in Ventura. So to give you the numbers, that's 719 to 583. And the supply chain since June has increased. So from 810 homes to 1,097 homes. So these numbers aren't huge is why I want to give you the, give you the numbers. Yeah, these are home numbers. These aren't mm -hmm. prices that we're talking about. So. These are number of units available. That's right. Uh, right now, 32% of homes in Ventura have had a price reduction. Uh, just recently. So that tells you that number one, really, I think that more so than the market softening is sellers have put their homes on the market at, you know, very ambitious and hopeful prices. <laughs> That's right. And the 30% number is all price decreases. So if somebody lowers their home by $5 or 5000 or any number that picks up in that 30%, sometimes they'll lower it just a little bit to see if they can get more clicks. They're using the FUD. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, so it's really important right now to price your home appropriately. Um, a home should be very clean, you know, ready to go. Buyers want to see things done and ready. They don't want to walk into something that they have to do a lot of work to. Um, that is just what we've been seeing and hearing from our open, ha open houses and from our clients. That's right. It does seem like homes are still getting offers that have been updated, they're clean, they're ready to go, and they're priced competitively. Mm -hmm. That's right. So the Southern California closed sales uh, year over year, January to June, is down 14% compared to 2021, but it's up 5% compared to 2019 and down 3% compared to 2018. So it's not these huge swings that the headlines are, are talking about. Yeah, it's almost odd when you talk to somebody that has been study in the news that they come in oh my gosh we're in a recession housing prices are crashing this you know housing is all been a bubble all along and that's not what the numbers are saying in fact all the experts their consensus is there's not going to be a housing crash this time mm -hmm. yeah so that's why we're just passing along what we hear from the people that actually crunch these numbers for for real 
Another reason to buy a home at this time is they're expecting a four to five percent appreciation still o over the, the next year, not the double digits that we've seen the last couple years, but still looking at price appreciation um, a little slower, but still appreciation. As the rents, if you're renting, uh, the one of the easiest ways to hedge the, the inflation is to fix your housing costs. So the, the rents, I just pulled the quick rents, annual median change in rents in 2021 nationally, 17.5%. Well, that's a lot. And uh, the 22, 2022 year to date is up 5.4%, the rents. And the shocking number to me on that is Los Angeles rents are up 10.9%. Well, LA County, LA has rent control. And so that number at 10%, I thought was really high, but they're getting it. Um, $3,400 is the median for a single family home in LA. Yes, and as the, the economists and all the people that get together and talk about this stuff in the back rooms and the think tanks are saying that we're not gonna have a housing crash, we're not gonna see rents go down, and we are gonna see pricing go up five to six percent this year and again next year. Right, so it's a great time. If you need to buy a home, you have to live somewhere. So that it's always uh, nice to fix your housing costs, especially with the other prices of things <laughs> unknown. Um, the Ventura average rents, according to Zillow, if you b believe them, which is crazy, but theirs is $3,000, but then Zumper, they have a one bedroom at $2,000, a two bedroom at $3,000, and a three bedroom at $3,500. Well, that starts to get into a mortgage payment. Yes, it does. Uh, maybe not in LA, but definitely in our market. Some people now that are commuting, telecommuting from home, that makes our market explode. And that's what we've seen. We've seen a lot of metropolitan areas where people are leaving and coming to the more suburban outlying areas and that's where they're moving and that's where they're living and everybody seems to be fine with that. Yep, and the, the reasons for optimism. Uh, you know, there's been some pessimism about the current state of the home buying market, uh, but you know, real estate's still the, long, the best long-term investment. According to a Gallup poll they just did published in May, 45% chose real estate, 24% picked stocks and 15% picked gold. So that's real estate by a huge margin there. Well, you got to have a roof over your head, and mm -hmm. that's number one. So your first investment or your first large purchase, let's say other than a car, is going to be a roof over your head or a new house. Yeah, there are no signs um, of a significant increase in inventory uh, in the near future that would destabilize the current mar uh, market. None of the economists see that. There really aren't the foreclosures that people thought might be coming because people have lost their jobs through this crazy time. Um, but the bankruptcies are not up um, significantly. The foreclosures aren't either because people have equity in their homes. Prices have gone up 20% last year. They're going up this year, which means you have equity to sell your home if you need to. That's right. The people that don't have equity have refinanced. And basically the refinances are over with today's current interest rates in the market. Yeah, so supply is is you know slated to grow uh, a little at a little slower pace, but it's supposed to grow, and then strong demand from the millennials because the millennials are finally moving out and getting ready to form ha households and buying homes. It's amazing the excuses people are using to still delay the home buying process, and there aren't any excuses left. Now is the time. Don't wait any longer. What do yeah. you say? Yes, and in Ventura, some numbers for Ventura that are really recent. Uh, you know, under a million dollars, days on the market is 24 days, and 56% of our inventory in Ventura is under a million, but 70% of the demand is in that range, under a million. So if you're thinking about selling a property under a million dollars in Ventura, you know, county area, that is a hot, hot, hot demand area. So if you're thinking about that, Let's talk and see if there's any, any work that we recommend to get your house in tip-top shape to get tip-top dollar. That's right. And uh, the million dollars doesn't go like it did a few years ago here. That's for sure. Things are edging up to the million dollar range very quickly, but we've still got a lot of inventory. 
less than a million dollars. Well, it's giving buyers like uh, FHA and VA buyers a chance where they haven't been able to compete in the last 18 months to two years. They're having a chance to come in the market now and, and have an opportunity to buy. We are seeing appraisals come in, even come in over. Uh, so we haven't seen a problem recently with appraisals not coming in. Uh, so that gives people with less down payment money a chance now to get in and buy a home and stabilize their um, rent prices. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more VA buyers come in the market. We're seeing more FHA buyers come in the market. VA can get in with no money down. FHA can get in with as little as 3.5% down. Most of the time people put down more, but those are the thresholds where it all begins. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a broad brushstroke of what's happening locally here in the market. If you have specific questions or things you want to talk about, we of course love to talk about real estate and we would be happy to get your call. So reach out, DM, um, email, text, call, let's have lunch. However you <laughs> want to meet, let's do it. All the above. Yes, yeah, so we hope you're doing well and we've kicked off our summer and hope you are too doing something fun this summer out in the sunshine. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge.